Canedo, though, coming out looking sharp as Bryce Ullman under center trying to go big against a team that's beat him multiple times. He flicks it over the middle. Austin Pena tumbles his way in for the score. Ganado up 7-0 onto the second quarter. Ganado with the lead still and within striking distance. Austin Pena powers his way in for the score. 14-0, Indians with the lead. Shiner's offense just could not get anything going, getting tackled right before anything could get going. And the Comanche's defense trying to get things going on defense, but just cannot. They get sacks, but just no turnovers. And unfortunately, it would end up 14 to zero at halftime. And now let's see if we can go to Zach Brown. Oh, here's the score right here, 28 to six. Ganado goes on to win that game. Shiner's gonna take on Bloomington next week and Ganado will take on Kennedy. Well, let's go to Zach Brown, who is in the cleanest little town in Texas with the winning coach, Zach. Thanks, Gino. Here with the victorious head coach of the Ganado Indians and coach, Week one victory over a tough Shiner team. How huge is it to be able to get the week one district victory? Anytime you can win a game, I mean, it's huge for the program. Kids work so hard throughout the week, uh, coaches as well, and, and it feels good to get the win. But when it's district, um, obviously everything from here on out matters uh, towards the result, the final result of the, of the season. So it was nice to be able to come on the road um, and come away with the win. Now, you told me uh, earlier this week in practice that even though Shiner's record isn't like what it normally would be, they're still not a team you want to overlook. I mean, how, how big did that play a role in your, your preparation this week because you guys came out here and, and put the pedal to the metal? Oh, it was, it was huge. I mean, the kids bought in that idea, too, that it, it doesn't matter who we play. Um, you can't overlook anyone. Last year we found that out, um, and, and, and we learned from it this year, and, and I'm just glad that the kids did buy into that uh, fact that it don't matter who you play you just got to come out and play the best you can and I thought they played pretty well tonight without a doubt and your 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 offense looks well balanced they look very tough Bryce uh looks like he protects the ball very well but your defense has given up an average of less than 10 points per game how huge is that going to be going forward in a very tough district oh for sure I mean if, if our defense is firing on all cylinders uh we could have a really good season because our offense is, is clicking pretty well too at times. We need to be more consistent, but but yeah, the defense played phenomenal tonight, uh, shutting them out in the first half. And then uh, second half, Shiner made some good adjustments, drove the ball on us, but uh, we were able to finish it out at the end. All right, awesome coach. Congratulations on your victory. Yes, sir, thank you. All right, so 28 to six, final score here at Comanche Stadium. Gino, I know you've got a special guest in the house. I don't want to take up too much of your time, so I'm going to go on and throw it right back to you in the studio.